Shopify Horizon theme customization, how to add a different banner image on desktop than on mobile, so show different images on different devices so that we can optimize the experience for our users. I'm here on my Shopify store and I have the Horizon theme installed. This is how it comes out of the box. We have this hero banner on top. If I look at the actual image in this demo, if I open that up, I can see that this is a vertical image and it shows kind of bad on desktop this even on the demo so this should be an actual out of the box setting that the horizon theme has but at the moment there is no native way for us to display a different image on desktop and on mobile and i'm going to show you how you can do that so what you're going to have to do is go to your theme and open that up if we go to customize here we see on the hero banner at least at the moment we are now at the version 2.0 we have no actual setting for adding a mobile image. We have media, so I can add one picture there. It's going to show on the entire banner. And if I go to media two and I select another image, let's say this one over here, is going to display next to the media number one. This should be different versions for mobile and desktop, but they didn't think it like this. So maybe later on, we're gonna get this functionality out of the box, but for now, there is no actual way to have different images for different screen sizes. So I'm going to show you how you can modify the sections to have this functionality. What you're gonna have to do is go to edit code. This is gonna send you to the code editor and inside there, you're gonna search for hero. So hero, we're gonna have this section over here, which I'm going to open up. There is a link in the description with the step-by-step -step tutorial you can follow. If not, you can try to keep up with the video. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is to add this line here. And this will assign a variable for us here at the top. Don't mind the red line. That means that the variable is not used in Inside the section we're going to use it a bit later just leave it as it is and don't save just yet for the next step we're gonna scroll down and find the first HTML tag everything that you see here is liquid code we want to find the first HTML tag which can be a div or a span. In this case, on the horizon theme, we're gonna have this div over here. And all the HTML tags normally have a class property, which has classes inside like that. So this one is a class hero and color and minus whatever this is. This one is also a class. So whenever the liquid gets rendered, this results in a class. And also this is a class here at the end. All we have to do here is go in the class parameter next to this class over here and add a new class, which will look something like this and make sure that it has a space here after it. So it's going to say visibility minus and add all of that in but make sure that you have a space here and make sure if you have classes in front that you have a space in the beginning because if you have another class here let's say just class if you have a class like that and you have visibility right next to the class then the class won't work because it's not going to be the same so you will have to make sure that there is a space between whatever class you have in there and your class in the beginning like that and in the end like that. So I'm going to just erase this because I don't need it. So in my case, I'm going to have visibility minus and everything in there, then a space and the rest of the classes. Now, once that's done, I can go ahead and scroll down to the schema here where we have the schema. We're gonna have the title of the section and everything here at the start of the schema tag. I'm going to scroll down until I see settings. So here where I see settings and then we have here this first curly bracket. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to paste this in so you can add this in. This was step number three. I'm going to go to step number four now, which is to go here in the beginning of the schema tag. And I'm going to add this code as well. This is a style tag which has styles that will help us display or hide our section on different devices. So once that's pasted in, I'm going to save. Now everything is done. If I go to the customizer, so if I go here to customize theme and I go to my hero banner, I should have at the top a setting 
allowing me to display the hero banner on desktop and on mobile. So this is the hero banner over here. I'm going to click on it. So we have now display on and it says both desktop and mobile. Let me add the actual image I want to use. So I'm going to go to media and I'm going to upload the desktop version first. So this one is the desktop version and I'm going to click on done once the upload is finished. Now I'm going to save and in this moment this is visible on desktop and on mobile as well so it's the same image even though we don't see the desktop there it is the same image so if i go here and i select desktop only this image should show only on desktop so if i save now and if i go to mobile now i have no hero banner at all if i go back to desktop i can see it and if I want to add a banner for mobile, because I want to have a banner on mobile as well, I can go out of this hero and I can go and I can duplicate it or I can add a new hero. What you can do if you've added all your text on it and so on, you can just go here and click on duplicate so you don't have to do all the work again. Now you're going to have two hero banners here and you can choose which one you want to show on desktop, which one you want to show on mobile. I'm just going to select the first one to be for mobile. So I'm going to select mobile only and I'm going to replace the image here. So I'm going to select from my library and add an image for mobile, which should be formatted in that way. My image now is a square, but because I chose full width on the desktop version, now the image is extended as well. If I go in, I change the height of the image to medium now i can see that this is the mobile version if i save that we have now the hero for mobile and if i go to desktop i'm gonna see the desktop hero let's preview also the live theme so if i go and i view the theme on the browser i can see now the desktop version which is here and if I go and I inspect, I go to mobile, I see the mobile version over there. And now you can go ahead and you can adjust the settings depending on the device you want to show this on. So on the hero for desktop and you can also go and rename them. I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to say here hero desktop so that I know which version I'm working on. And I can go to the other one and I can say hero mobile and this will make it much easier for me to know on which version I'm working on and I will be able to optimize the views depending on the device. And this method works with any other theme and with other sections as well. So if you are not on the horizon theme, you will still be able to use it. I'm going to link another video where I use the same technique on the Dawn theme. And actually you can use this technique on other sections as well. So for example, if you want, let's say on your homepage to add a slideshow, which we have here at the bottom, the slideshow has the same problem. You will not be able to display different views for different devices. And we can go in, we can add that setting to the slideshow as well. So I'm going to just save this. I've added one slideshow on my, on my theme now. And if I go to the code editor, I open that up. And inside there, I'm gonna search for the slideshow section. And here it is, I'm going to open that up. And inside the slideshow section, I'm going to apply the same technique. So first things first, I'm gonna add this variable, which will have the squiggly red line underneath. That's no problem. Then step number two, I'm gonna look for the first HTML tag, which is this div over here. I'm gonna look at the classes. And as you can see, it has one class over here. I'm going to go before this quotation mark and I'm going to add this in and I'm going to make sure that I have a space after it. So the space should be here at the end. And if you have classes in the beginning, same thing, you should have spaces. If you don't have a class, then that's fine. I'm going to leave the class in there. Next, I'm going to scroll at the schema and inside the schema here, I'm going to look for settings and we have it here. I'm going to hit enter in there. I'm going to paste this in. So the schema starts here and the settings are these in here. And as my fourth step, I'm going to go here at the beginning of the schema tag and I'm going to add this style in, which is over here and I'm going to save. Now again, if you want to get the tutorial with a step-by-step -step guide where you can just copy and paste everything from there, you can find the link in the description. Now again, I'm gonna go and I'm going to customize the theme so that I can see if the setting 
was added and I'm going to go to the slideshow and at the top here we have display on and now it's going to display the slideshow both on desktop and on mobile. So if I go and I select here desktop only it's going to still be visible but if I go to mobile it's going to disappear but it didn't for some reason so let's go and let's see why that didn't happen. So you will have to make sure that you add the class in here in the class tag not in the style tag so I'm going to paste it in there and this is how it's supposed to look so inside the class tag you're gonna have this class over here and if I save it now that's gonna be fixed so if I refer to the page now on mobile I don't see the slideshow but on desktop it's going to display well here so now if you want to have a mobile dedicated slideshow all you have to do is go back to your customizer in here you can open the slideshow that you already have for desktop you can duplicate it and then you can go ahead and select this for mobile only and add your images for mobile in there and they will get displayed on mobile only also all the settings that you add all the text or other details you add once the section is dedicated for mobile or desktop all of that will be displayed only on those devices you can then go ahead and rename them desktop and mobile and there you go now you can display different images and different content on different devices and now that you know how to display a different hero banner on desktop than on mobile i think you'll be interested in seeing this video next click it and i'll see you there